Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm on here today to share two hauls. Uh, one was uh, arrived yesterday and the other was dropped off this morning. And so I thought I'd do a video, combine them both in one video. Uh, the first one is a in-out club. I did this one in my husband's club and I did a monthly because there were some bars that I wanted. I wanted a few of the licensed bars and I didn't want to do a six pack and I wanted to get a little bit of a discount. And I wanted some of the harvest bars and I didn't want the bundle. So that I decided to do, um, to do an in-out club. And also when I ordered it, I think it was the 29th of September. So it was still September and since he had that perk on and I just thought, I want to get one more kick at the can with the freebies. <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, and the freebie, of course, for people who ordered uh, or had a club ordered this in September, they got a bar and it was Fairy Tale Pumpkin. And this was the scent of the month, I think in October of 2021. And it was sort of a love hate. People liked it or they didn't like it. And it did make it into the catalog this fall, winter. And so it must've been more popular than I realized. Uh, I did have one bar left from that kit, that consultant's kit last year, and I was saving it for the fall because to me, this is a, a an autumn scent um, that I would warm now. So, uh, but now I have, what, three, three, or this maybe is my four. So now I think I maybe have three or four or five bars, which is good. I did warm some of it uh, camping and I really enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised. And then my husband and I did a big garage clean this weekend, cleaned put away all of our summer stuff, tidied up the yard and then cleaned the garage. And at the end I put, I did my, turned on my warmer and stuck a uh, fairy tale pumpkin. And then when I re returned home today from shopping, um, I, I got out of the car and I went, oh, it smells so nice in here. So it, it's, I really am enjoying it. So I think I'll get, I'll, and they were, they were free. <laughs> so what's not to love about that? And then of course, if your club was over 80 Canadian or 60 US, you got uh, the cotton cleanups. And this is a great perk because these are not cheap. I don't use them, but a lot of people do and love them. And um, so I put these away because I'm having a sip and sniff. I want to show all off all of the holiday goodies. Uh, to my girl gang, so um, and I always have door prizes and stuff, so and draws, so I will use some of these for that. Anyway, that was, um, and then I did get bars in that club, uh, and I did get the high, half price item. I wanted a half price item, and I'll share that at the end. So I'll start with the bars, and the first bar is the All Blacks bar, and this is the New Zealand rugby team. I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for this. <laughs> Um, I, when I was young, 18, I had a boyfriend who played rugby, so I was sort of, you know, a groupie, <laughs> I guess, a rugby groupie. Uh, and then, um, my ex-husband, my ex-husband and I are still very, very good friends. And he, his father was from New Zealand and most of his family live in New Zealand. So, uh, many years ago we traveled back there and his cousin took us to an all blacks game. And I have very fond memories of that. So I thought I'd try it. This bar is citrus, cool mint, and fir balsam. And it is, it does have the citrus note. note. It comes off a slight, you can, smells a little bit like cologne. Not overly strong though. There is the cool mint. The mint is quite subtle. I think it maybe it'll come out more in warming. And then uh, the balsam, but it's not like a Christmas tree balsam. It's like a, it's more of a sort of an earthy tree. Anyway, quite nice. I think this will be lovely. Anyway, and it's black. Isn't that cool? I love that. Anyway, all blacks. I have a picture of my son when he was a little boy and he had an all blacks t-shirt that we brought back for him. Anyway, and that was a fond memory. And then to be fair, I had to try out wallabies. I think this is the Australian uh, rugby team, I believe. Um, I, I do think that this is the color of their uniforms. I think it's green and, and kind of a mustard gold color. Anyway, this one is bergamot, sage, and cedar wood. And this is really nice. The bergamot is very subtle, not at least on cold. And you get a little bit of the sage and the cedar wood. It's a very, it's very sophisticated smelling, actually. 
anyway, I'll be interested to see how it warms. And I also love that kind of mustard. That's a very autumn fall color. Anyway, that's the Wallabies. So those are two rugby teams and the bars. Uh, then I did haul another Wizarding World. Now, I'm going to walk back my opinion on this bar. I In my last video, I likened it to a man in an expensive suit with expensive clothes who put one or two shots too many. And then later in my ramble, I made fun of it and said, it, the only thing in Wizarding World about this is it smells like an old fart professor at Hogwarts with too much cologne. Which um, maybe was an overstatement. And I think the problem for me was I warmed them in here. And this is a very strong bar. And I warmed it in here and I had that sort of sharp cologne scent. I had it in here three days and it was it stuck around, but it wasn't a big enough space. So I took, I had um, a partial bar and then the bar I hauled in my last video. I took the partial bar and I took it down to my family room and put it in and then I did the other bar I had and warmed it in my living room and that made a huge difference. It still had that sort of a little bit citrusy, cologne almost bergamot um, note at the front and it was there probably half a day, not, but it was a bigger space, so it was much more tolerable. But after that, it tapped down and it was much more, uh, it was lovely. It was like quite sophisticated, actually. Uh, this, the notes on this are citrus, green apple. I don't really get green apple, I do get citrus. Mahogany, woods, vanilla, and amber. And I love amber scents, so this, when I was warming it, like day two and three, this lasted, th I had it in three days. The, uh, the amber and that mo little bit of a mahogany woods really, really shone. And then the, I think the vanilla made it, blended it nicely. Anyway, I don't think I'll, it's, I don't think I'll be clubbing this because the franchise, the Harry Potter franchise will be coming back and I'll be able to get bars again. But I think I'll haul a couple of more and have them for the winter because it's a very, it's a good powerhouse. And I will say, like, just as a side note, like, we, when we come on here, at least from my point of view, when we come on here and share our thoughts and give you, you know, sort of our opinions, um, it's just meant to be helpful, you know, but we're not always right, or sometimes we don't give it a good shot. And sometimes I say that actually in my videos, I say, I'm going to give it another warm and just see, see if I'm missing something. Um, so many of my YouTubers who, who sent notes, who sent preferences, I, I, I had, I admire and you know often copy them uh, like this bar so I thought no 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 you need to give it another shot in a bigger space and that made all the difference so uh, Wizarding World is a walk back <laughs> uh, the next bar is Halloween Town now I only wore one bar of this last year I liked it from my memory uh, Halloween Town is cranberry apple and spice cedarwood and I remember warming it last year and I thought it had some kind of foody smell when I warmed it. I can smell a little bit of cranberry and I think the apple makes it sweet. I think maybe that's the sweetness I'm smelling. And um, spice cedar wood. Anyway, I remember it being, I like enjoying it quite a bit. Um, when I smell it this, now, I'm thinking it smells a little bit like Shreddies, the cereal. Like Shreddies aren't a sweet cereal, but there's a, there's a, there's a slight sweetness to it. <laughs> makes me think of Shreddies. Anyway, <laughs> it's a great fall scent, so I thought I'd pick up a bar anyway. And then I did get, um, I guess when I add those all up, that's five bars, five licensed bars. I guess I could have squeaked another one in there and done a six pack, but oh well. This is a Ravenclaw. This is a Harry Potter bar as well, and it's my favorite one, and it's suede, vanilla, sandalwood. It's lovely. It's very, it's very smooth the vanilla and the sandalwood, and then that suede note. And it, uh, as I've said before, um, I love, love, love vanilla suede. It was a bring back my bar. I had it in the club I lost. I love, love, love vanilla oud. Um, I will be voting for both of those to come back someday. But this one here sort of fit, fits the niche uh, for me missing those bars. Anyway, I really, really like this. It's, it'll, it's in my club and it will stay there. Yeah, anyway, I ended up with five licensed bars. Linda, what were you thinking? <laughs> anyway, oh well. 
Uh, what really motivated me to to do a club, in out club, was um, these bars. Um, and I got two of each. These were from the Harvest Collection. Now, I can't remember what, Wild for Fur, I think is the other, the third one. I wasn't keen on that one. Um, I thought it smelled a little sharp and um, I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy it. I, I love uh, fur, evergreen scents, but that one didn't. And a lot of people have said they thought it seemed a more of a winter bar than a fall and bar. So I may try one more bar just to, to give it another shot and see, but I would probably warm it, you know, closer to December. But I did want one of each of these, or two actually, I got two uh, maple rum cake, and this is buttered rum, cinnamon sugar, and vanilla frosting. And um, on the back, you can smell the buttered um, rum. Yeah, you can definitely smell the back. And then the cinnamon sugar and a vanilla kind of frosting scent. Anyway, I warmed this in my kitchen, and it was very, very nice. Um, so I thought, I want two more. I'm not going to club this or the other one. I'm going to just use this, but I wanted another uh, sort of, like I'm using uh, pumpkin cinnamon swirl and those sort of bakery scents in my kitchen to go with all the fall uh, scents that I'm warming in my living room. So I wanted uh, that this will help. So I did that. And then I, of course, got two cozy vanilla pumpkin. What is it? Cozy vanilla and pumpkin. And this one is fresh pumpkin, vanilla, and cinnamon. I find it quite light on the pumpkin um, compared to some others, like pumpkin roll or farm stand pumpkin. But uh, warming it, it was very nice. It's very vanilla and they're not overly spicy. So it's just like a very creamy, slightly pumpkin vanilla, but it did well in my kitchen. It was lightish, um, so um, I would just use it in my kitchen, but I might I might actually try this in my bedroom. Somebody on YouTube um, mentioned that they, um, I think it's someone's comments or someone, you know, I read comments. I don't know about you guys, but I read other, when I watch other videos, I read the comments as well. I learn so much from people. Anyway, somebody mentioned that they like this warming in their bedroom. So I'm gonna try that as well. That's mo mainly why I picked that one up as well. Anyway, those are the two bars I wanted. I didn't want to buy the third bar. I didn't want to bundle. And so the only way you can order these individually is through Club. And then, oh, I guess I did get, a, look at this, another licensed bar. Oh, good. I must have been piecemealing it together. Anyway, this is Sanderson Sisters. I think it's called um, Perfectly Wicked. Yes. Anyway, uh, this is from the Hocus Pocus movie. I I have no <laughs> I have no knowledge of this movie. I have no clue who the people are in it or any of the story or anything. But um, I heard some rave reviews about this, so I thought I wanted to try it. And the notes sound good: blackberry, plum, and cherry and spice vanilla. And I love blackberry and I love plum. Uh, cherry, not so much, but I don't mind it. And then the spice vanilla. Oh, yeah, you can smell the cherry on the back. But you can smell the plum, too. Not so much the blackberry yet, but... And a little teeny bit of spice. Hmm, that's quite nice. Quite nice. I'll have to won't get to warming this. Anyway, I picked up two bars. I'll see. I'll warm it, and uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll be something I'll club for a bit. We'll see. Anyway, I ended up getting two, four, six. Six, seven, seven license bars. Oh, I should have done a six pack, but oh well. I did want this half price item. I use it in my washroom. Uh, I've mentioned before I don't have. I have a plug in my bathroom, but um, I didn't. I I use we you know my hair dryer and things like that. So I didn't want wax in there. So I use a fragrance flower and I got one in fluffy fleece and I got this in the da, uh, Dahlia Darling or Darling Dahlia. Um Dahlia Darling. Anyway, fluffy fleece. Go figure. I didn't like the wax last year here. I'm getting I really like the scent of the laundry really really like the scent in the laundry and it's kind of growing on me in the, my laundry room when i'm wa warming the wax so i thought this would be a great scent in the washroom and um so i will be putting that in there soon and um and i have a little uh t 
tier stand in there where I have uh, some my fragrance flower and a few odds and bods so that's going in there and I wanted to get it for half price so uh, I didn't need a brick right now I have a brick coming in my October club so anyway that's my half price item <laughs> and I'm excited <laughs> Your half price item doesn't always have to be uh, something big. It can, I mean, that's the best bang for your buck, like a brick, half price brick. But I think this was, I think in in Canada, it's $20 for a fragrance flower, which is okay. That's fairly standard. If you go buy reed diffusers, you know, often in a store, they're very expensive. And so it's a good deal. And half price, it's an excellent deal. And they last, the one in, in my bathroom right now, I... I think I put it in there in July, so, and it's still got some, I'm gonna sh switch that one downstairs and then put this in here. Anyway, I'm going on and on about nothing. Let me tell you about the bricks. That was my next haul. It was the five holiday bricks, and as consultants, we can have early access to them so that we can review them and share them, and uh, with, with our bricks, we did get this uh, mold. It's uh, in the shape of like a Christmas ornament, so we can make uh, samples. And so I'm going to make samples. I'm going to have samples, and then I'm going to have them sitting out at my sip and sniff, and the girls can take um, take the ones that they want. These bricks are going to be released to the Sensi public, oh, I think, on the 17th of October. And so I know there's been a lot of people reviewing them already. So, you know, this might be boring for you, but I think, you know, the more opinions you get, the more you'll be able to sort of narrow down the ones that you want to get. If, you know, I think in Canada, they're gonna be two, you get two bricks for 53, and that's a pretty good deal because a brick is, um, what it, what is the brick uh, when you order it? $32, I think, if you order it through Club, which is the only place you can get a brick otherwise, uh, or your half price item. In I think it's sixteen fifty if you order it for in your club for half price. So, uh, it's five, five and a half bars of wax. So five bars of wax is forty dollars. So if you can get two bricks for fifty three, you're you're doing really well. Uh, and you can also order them individually. And um, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I should have written that down. What the individual bricks are. I usually end up getting two them in two because that's the best deal anyway they're coming that all that info will be on the website uh, on october 17th so i'm going to start with the first brick and the first brick is icicles and evergreen now first of all i will give uh sensi kudos because look at this it's so festive and cute with the little banner and each one of them has and then i love this little red bow in the green I love the color of this but icicles and evergreen I'm a little disappointed that this is a brick and not because I'm not a fan of the scent I I ha I you know I'll warm it. it it's not my pine scent I prefer very snowy spruce I prefer black forest pine I've I um, prefer ice pine um, this isn't my favorite it's a little sharp, let me think. The notes are eucalyptus, pine needle, and crystallized sugar. And it's sweet, so you can smell this, the sugar. And then that eucalyptus gives it a little, a little sort of, I consider it, it gives it almost, like, forgive me if you love the scent, it's like a, almost like a little bit of a mothball-y smell. And then the pine, the pine needle. Anyway, um, that's fine. Lots of people love this. My beef, I guess, is it's in the catalog. We can, you could go order a six pack if you wanted it. So I'm, I wish they hadn't wasted a brick on a scent we can order. Like um, bring back an old bar, like something Christmassy. There's been tons of good Christmas scents you know, bring something back in like that. I know they've had full size, like they had very snowy spruce in a brick. They've had co Christmas cottage in a brick. But last year they had all new unique scents. Or take one of the old bars that isn't available in the catalog anymore that was a true love for people and, and bring that back. I don't know, I was, anyway, I, <laughs> I'm glad. 
I'm happy to have it and I'll warm this. I'll make samples. I know not very many of my girl gang cared for this one either. But um, anyway, that's my little rant. <laughs> Sorry about that. But that's evergreen and icicles and evergreen. I'm sure most of you have probably tried this bar. And if you want it in a big size, you're lucky you can get order it that way. The next one is a new one. It is Winter's Eve. And look at that. For the velvet. You can, it almost looks like velvet, doesn't it? And it's pretty blue. I really like that. And this one is Evergreen Forest, White Cedar, and Bergamot. Mm, that's quite nice. Let me smell the back because that can sometimes be different. Oh, yeah. It's very bergamot on the back to my nose. So it's got sort of a masculine-y, it's a, like a masculine take on fur. On the, on the front, it smells a little softer. Uh, it's not classic, it's not, it doesn't smell like a classic evergreen. It doesn't smell like very snowy spruce or icicles and evergreen. It's got more of a, um, it's deeper. It's got a deeper, the, the green note is in there, the tree note is in there, but it, it definitely has a little more of a cologne -y. I'll be interested to see how this does on warm. It doesn't smell overly strong. It's not like flowing out when you open the clam or anything. Anyway, that is, yeah, Winter's Eve, Evergreen Forest, White Cedar, and Bergamot. The next one is also new, Frosted Petals. And this one, it's got little flowers. It's pretty. And the wax is a really kind of pretty lilac-y color. Kind of interesting uh, Christmas. Kind of like... Um, Pink Point Sedia, was that the name of the brick last year? I didn't care for that one too much, but this is Snowberry, White Currant, Orchid, and Musk. I like Musk, I like Orchid actually, and uh, I have Snowberry. Ooh, this is very um, perfumey. It's got, it's got a perfumey note. It's not powdery though, to my nose anyway. It has, you know what? It smells like my hairdresser's shop. <laughs> it smells like I'm at my hairdresser. Uh, they have a lot of products at my hairdresser. It's a very beautiful little salon and my daughter-in-law works there. And um, they sell fragrant products like lotions and potions and all kinds of things as well as hair products. This smells like their salon. It smells a little bit like um, soap, a pretty soap, you know? Yeah, it's nice, it's very interesting. I think this might be a nice, it doesn't smell too floral. I mean, it's floral. You can definitely smell the orchid in there and it's definitely floral, but it doesn't have that sort of summer, that summer, it's got a little bit of a, let me think, what would be, would be the musk and the white currant and snowberry maybe. Anyway, this'll be interesting. I will. I'm gonna take a cube of each of these bricks, especially the new ones that I haven't tried before, and I'm gonna warm them and give you some a quick um, summary of what I thought of them on a worm. So I'm gonna do that right away because these aren't coming up until the 17th and maybe a little more info. And then of course, go out and watch everybody else because everyone has different opinions. Anyway, nice. I'm not a big floral person and I, I don't mind this, but it does smell like my hair salon. <laughs> Uh, the next one is maraschino sugar cookie. Uh, this was offered, a sample was offered in, um, was it a sample or was it um, a bar? I can't remember. Hmm. Uh, in the whiff box last December, I think. I, I, I did get that whiff box and I did smell it. This is maraschino sugar cookie. It's sh sugar cookie dough, vanilla, uh, and maraschino cherry glaze. So let's see, I can't remember, I warmed it. I don't remember being like super wild by it, but hmm, yeah. Actually, let me smell the back. The back is definitely more cherry, but not overly cherry. I mean, it's cherry. You have to like cherry, I think. But the front and the actually the back too, it smells more sugar cookie than sugar cookie does. 
You can sh definitely smell the sugar cookie, which is kind of nice because sometimes sugar cookie, you can't really, you, it smells good, but you can't really identify it as cookie. Yeah, this this will be nice. Uh, warming it, I can't remember. I wish I could remember how what I thought of it. I'll have to look back. Anyway, look at this front. It's so cute, the little brown bow. Anyway, this I think will be very popular, and I'm excited to try that. You know, I love my foodie sense and has huge potential to be in my club. And the last one is um, caramel chestnut. And this one is caramel, vanilla, and warm chestnut. And it is got, looks like it has little chestnuts on it. And uh, I love that. And it's a really deep uh, caramel color. Let me smell that. Mmm. Smell the back. Definitely, lo I love chestnut. You can smell that for sure. And the caramel's there, but it's not like a sticky, ooey gooey caramel. It's more of a. It's more of you know the smell of like caramel essentially is just um, brown sugar, like sugar that's been cooked and you know slightly scorched, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's it. it's not overly sweet. Not overly sweet. At least not cold. Anyway, that might that's very rich smelling. It's gonna be lovely. I watched Elizabeth Quinn. She oohed and awed and loved you know, loved, loved, loved this. I love caramel. I love chestnut. This smells good and it's not overly sweet, so it might be a really good all over the house scent. Uh, and very winter. It's gonna be lovely. Anyway, that's the five bars. Um, if I was going to rank them on cold, this is just on cold. Of course, my least favorite would be icicles and evergreen. I, I love. I probably love the packaging the most, but this is my least favorite, and I won't go on about it. But this one, because we can buy it in the catalog, then I would probably. Ooh, I might. I don't know. I, I this, These two would be tied, I think. Uh, it depends on how they warm because I, my first inclination is to pick this, put this one fourth, just because um, it smells like my hair salon. <laughs> but uh, if this one is too cologne-y, it might be fourth and this might be third. I, it'll depend on warming, but these two next, I would say. Then I am going to say maraschino sugar cookie, although I'm I'm going to enjoy this a lot, and it's going to be a stellar bakery for sure. I think my favorite is caramel chestnut, and I think it's because it's got that creamy caramel, not too sweet, that chestnut note. I could see this uh, as a blend with things. Yeah, this is really nice, very unusual and different from, it's not like something we've had, you know. It's not like salted caramel toffee, which is way, way, way more sweet. This is very nice. Anyway, that's the bricks. I'm excited to warm them, and then I'll get back on to you guys and give you my thoughts. Um, I do have um, an order coming. It's a customer and order and my order combined, and it it's it's uh, printed. So it's in the works. It's a fairly big order. And then I'm going to be doing another order. I've, I, I'm trying to decide on what which warmers I want from the catalog, from the Christmas uh, brochure, rather. Um, so I'm going to um, think about that and order that in a couple of days. And I'll do a video and share those with you. I'm excited for, for that. And I, I have in the order that's coming, I have the uh, sense of the season and the um, holiday bundle that I can share my thoughts with you on that. Anyway, there's lots in the works and this is going to be a heavy <laughs> purchasing period this next little bit. Um, so I'll have lots to share with you and I do have a big bin of empty so that that video will be coming within a day or two. <laughs> anyway. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that was helpful um, and interesting. <laughs> and I appreciate you tuning in and I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. 
um, uh, I only want to do this if if it's something you guys enjoy watching and if I yeah <laughs> it's you know anyway I always get I always sort of second guess myself but anyway I hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate you being here and watching and please please leave a comment I love hearing what you guys have to to say and what you think which one which one of those bricks do you think is going to be your favorite and which one of those are, are you disappointed in any of them so far and I know you haven't smelled them maybe some of you but you know in your head you know do you think it you, do you are you excited to get icicles and evergreen in a brick maybe you are let me know I'd love to hear anyway thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you later bye